actual GPA? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It's okay. Some do, some don't. What is it? What does GPA stand for? Grade point average. Grade point average. So here's how we figured out. Each one of your classes, pretend like these are your grades, okay? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven classes, okay? You have seven classes. Each letter grade counts as a number from one to four. So an A is four. If an A is four, what do you think a B is? Three. 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 And this is what? Three. three. What's a C? Two. two. What's an A? Four. four. And this is an A. That's four. And what is this? Four. four. So now I need help adding up these numbers. Four plus three is what? Seven. Seven plus three is ten. Ten, ten plus two is twelve. Twelve plus four is sixteen. Sixteen plus four is twenty. And 20 plus 4 is what? 24. So you add these up and you get that number. What you want to do is go 7 divided by 24. And it'll be 3, 21, 30. 3 point. Three point okay, let's go out some more. Uh, 2, oh, it, yeah, just like a 3.42. 3.42, yes. It'll be 24 divided by 3. No, by 7. That's what I did, darling. You said 7 divided by 24. Oh, I'm sorry. How was I supposed to say it? 24 divided by 7. Okay, I'm not the math teacher. I know how to do it, but I, don't, I, I just messed up on saying it. So, the answer is what? 3.42. That is your GPA. So, your GPA is 3.42. If a 4 is uh, an A, and you have a B here, and that's a 3, it's closer to a B than an A, correct? Yeah. Okay. 3.42 is not bad. Some uh, scholarship requires that you have a 3.5. Some a 2.5 and even some a 3. So I'm showing you how to figure out your GPA now so that you can keep up with it because some of you may want to go to college. Do you have to go to college to be successful? No. no. You want to know why? Mother Plumber came into my house the other day and he stayed 15 minutes and he charged me $100. And he doesn't have a bachelor's or a master's degree, okay? Uh, yes, sir. Why don't you get an F rating? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, F is zero. Yeah, so when you, uh, an F is zero, and what is a D? One. One. So, great question. So, when you factor that in, that would actually lower this number, right? So, that's why you want to stay probably in the ABC range, because the lower the grade, the lower the number, and that lowers your number. Does that make sense? Do you, do you have a question? Do you understand how to figure out a GPA now? Yes, ma'am. Now that you know, what steps are you going to take? Yes, sir. All across the nation, you figure the GPA the same, okay? All across the nation, you figure the GPA the same. It doesn't change. Some school districts do, however. If you say take an honors, uh, you take AP English in high school, AP World History, sometimes those AP classes actually will count as a five if you make an A. Uh, but it's according to the district. I think that's the only thing that really varies. But all across the do United States. Oh, oh, yes, our school district does do that here. Yay. Yeah. Yay. So if you get in the AP class, if you get in an AP class and you make a good grade on AP class, it's sort of like a win-win because here's what happens. If you get in the AP class and at the end of the year you pass the AP exam, you get college credit for that. Yay. And then you don't have to take that. Say, for instance, my son got a three on his AP world history. So the college that he went to took the three and then they just marked off world history. He didn't have to take that class in college. So that's less money you have to pay in college and one less class too. So starting now to figure out your GPA can be very beneficial because you can just monitor yourself. Okay. Sound good? Yes, I know you learned something new, right? Yes, okay. Good.